I often say the only thing that you're genuinely entitled to in this world is gravity. But it's also the force that makes going up or down hills more difficult. When you're tackling a hill climb or a descent, you've got to keep your wits about you and make sure you're not going too hard on either of the pedals or the brake controller for your trailer as things can get out of shape pretty quick. It's one of those things, there's another obstacle that requires a bit of headspace. So stop at the bottom, stop at the top, have a look, walk it if you want and have a look what the track's going to be before you start the job. If you've done that, the whole thing will be a whole lot easier. As with most four-wheel driving situations, picking your line is key. So have a look at the terrain, walk it if you need to, and have a clear idea of which way you're going on the way up or down and how you're planning on getting out. Once again, tyre pressures can be a big governing factor in how easy you get up and down that track. On the way up, momentum is critical, and Maka loves to say, it's not the same as speed. So come up to it at a steady pace that you need to get up those obstacles. And think about ditches like this on the way up of where wheels are gonna go, both for your tow vehicle and the caravan. If you end up with a wheel on the caravan in a hole that the tow vehicle doesn't have enough momentum to pull it through, you can end up there spinning wheels and once you're stuck midway up a hill, it's pretty hard to recover. Spot on, Dave. And you know what the difference is between speed and momentum? Momentum gets you through obstacles, speed breaks stuff in obstacles. If you can avoid it, you don't want to be reversing on the tracks and that's especially true when you're going up a hill and practically impossible when you're going down. Always use your gears instead of your brakes whenever humanly possible. I know it's hard to keep your foot off the brake pedal on the way down a hill. It's the coward pedal. It's going to cause you problems. Select the right gear and stick in that gear. Low gear, I don't care how long it's going to take you to get down, you'll get down safely in bog cog every time. That's especially true when towing off-road, as when you've got your electric brake controller on, a little dab of a brake pedal while you're heading downhill on a loose surface can get that trailer out of shape behind you. It may even be worth backing off your brake controller slightly so you don't risk that happening. And if you do end up in that situation where your trailer has locked up, or your vehicle, the unfortunate part for you is, the only way to regain control, it's that right hand pedal. You won't need to get on that right hand pedal on the way down if you haven't locked your wheels up. If you're concerned about the steepness of the climb or the descent, have a reconsider about whether you should be towing your trailer through that sort of terrain. No matter how much experience you've got and how much you plan, sometimes things just go wrong. And that's when you need Dave and his mates. Even the best plans can go off track, so make sure you plan ahead and have insurance that'll cover you for where you're headed off-road with your four-wheel drive camper trailer or caravan.